Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Banggood review. This time it's not going to be a tool review, it's going to be a review on a small 12 volt gear drive motor and a power supply. What I'm trying to do is put a power feed onto the quill on this miller machine. Before I start, I want to make a couple of things perfectly clear. The first thing is Banggood have sent me out this little motor, the speed controller and a couple of drive clips completely free of charge. I mean to do with whatever I want. The other thing is if you click on the link at the start of this video and you buy one of these motors or a speed controller I do get a very small commission. I wouldn't be able to retire but it will certainly help run the shop a little bit. Anyway let's have a start and see what you think. These are the parts I've ordered off Banggood to make me power feed with. I'll have a look at each one in turn uh, I mean you have a look inside the gearbox on the motor then we'll put some wires on just to make sure things work as they're supposed to. The first thing I look at is the power unit. Right, the power unit is rated from 12 to 48 volt, 40 amps. It's got a speed control switch on there, off and rear start for speed. It's also got a reverse and forward on the motor. The wire on the front simple enough. That's positive negative in and that's positive negative out. That was that where it's got machine wrote on there, that wasn't wrote on. One of the lads at work actually had a look on his mobile phone for those Chinese symbols and found that that was the output. But when I look inside you can see there's a big heat sink there, so I would have went for that as the output anyway. So we've got two wires in, two wires out. I will be putting line fuses in just to make sure. I've got a similar power unit on me welder. Well positioner and that works fine. Right, I ordered two of these couplings. Well, I ordered one and sent two. Now, I stepped them onto the drive couplings. Unfortunately, they're the wrong size. I didn't stipulate what diameter they were. I wasn't sure on the, the motor size. But there's enough metal on there. I'll be able to bore them out. Little flexible coupling. Right, the motor's rated at 12 volt DC. I think it's 4 RPM output. 3 or 4 RPM. Die cast aluminium hose and it's just exactly what it is. Little brass bush in the end of the motor you can see there. Two wires, live and neutral. I'm going to pull the cover off just to have a quick look inside. Now one or two people have bought these and said that they had plastic gears in and the gears stripped. So we'll have a look in there first. Just to make sure there's some grease in there as well or not. Do any harm to put some grease in there. I, mean, I don't need a great lot of torque out of this motor uh, because it's only going to turn the quill on my milling machine. I think they're 4 mil fixing holes. Right, that's the four securing bolts. So it all comes apart. It comes apart quite easily. Right, so there's a, a brass worm there on the end of the motor. Actually a ball, there's a ball race in there as well. This is the little gearbox. There's one plastic gear, that's the one the worm drives. And as you can see the gears get stronger and stronger as you get more torque onto it. I mean it is a, a real high reduction on this. I'm quite impressed, I must admit. It's, um, it's better than I thought it would have been. Very impressed. I mean, it's not going to do a great lot of work. It's um, it should do the job. And there's grease in the relative places. There's grease down there. You see, I'm surprised to see a proper bearing in there. We we'll can get it back together. Right, I've got it temporarily wired up. I'm using an 18 volt Dewalt drill. Positive with a fuse on. That's a negative. There are the input side of the speed controller and the two wires out onto the motor. So we'll turn it on and it works. Infinitely variable speeds you can see. We've also got a reverse. I don't know how much torque the motor will have. It's on sort of we'll put it on half power.
Right, I can't stop it. And um, my hands are fairly strong. I can't stop that. So that's definitely going to have enough power to do what I wanted to do. Slow it right down. I can't stop it. Okay, so first impressions are, for the cost, very good. I was going to use a windscreen wiper motor, and somebody suggested that you can get a, you can buy a, a reduction gearbox motor on line 12 volt. Right, there's no way I can stop that, and I'm trying. There's an off switch in there as well, so it's forward or backward, off, then the other way. Obviously I'll build a, a nice little box to house all this. I machined the coupling out to fit on the milling machine so I can give it a quick try. These couplings actually pull apart quite easily, which means you can bore them out on it. In fact I use a reamer, a 12mm reamer through there. We'll try it on the machine just to see what a how it's going to work. And obviously I need to fabricate a bracket to hold the motor but this video is not about converting this machine to a power feed on the quill it's all about the little stepper motor and the speed controller that Bang would have supplied us. There's not that much torque going through that motor, I can feel it, uh, I can feel it pushing against my hand, but it'll not take a very strong bracket to hold it. I'm sure you'll agree that the little motor and the speed control I did exactly what they're supposed to do. I had a look inside the gearbox and I was suitably impressed, nice, clean, tidy, proper gears, proper bearings and proper bushes. The thing is, would I buy a motor like that to convert this Miller machine? Absolutely. I think for the cost, a real good value for money. Um, there'll be a follow-on video on my YouTube of actually mounting the motor and converting it, and you will see me using the, the product all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.